have gotten the knife into the forge, brushed it off pretty thoroughly. I even gave it a few taps with a hammer to see how much of that slag I could pull off of there. We have a much cleaner piece and we can see some of the imperfections and the places where we need work. So if we take a look, I don't know if you can see very closely, but there is some stuff along the edges that needs to get cleaned up here on the top. Um, also our handle is really long, so what we're going to do is we're going to zip off a piece of that, probably around here, and I'll show you what we do with that. It's pretty darn cool. but. Um, there's also on this side a little bit of what we call tacoing. So you see how there's a kind of a groove or a, a dip, like a valley in the center of this. We definitely want to get rid of that. So we're going to be working a lot on the edge here to pull this metal back. Because if you look at the knife from this angle, our knife tapers at the point and gets thicker as it goes back. And that's not good. We want that to be basically consistent all the way through, actually all the way through our handle. So that's what we're going to be working on with this knife. Uh, we're gonna call this knife number one, okay? So when you're bidding, remember, this is what you're bidding on when you say, I'm bidding on knife number one, is this knife here. All right, cool. So we're gonna get to work getting that cleaned up and ready to start shaping and grinding and all of that fun stuff uh, and we're gonna move on to knife number two.